There's some rumors out there that the first Instagram story of your day needs to be a poll because that's what the algorithm favors. And I see that get repeated all over and over again. So in the past few months, I did some research, tracking stories from some of my clients, trying to spot patterns, and then trying to rework their story strategy. And the results were pretty interesting, my friends. Because seems like you can actually and easily 3X your story views by just implementing the simple, yeah, let's just call it two and a half step process. And uh, what a lot of people don't know, Instagram insights have some pretty interesting stats that help you tweak your story strategy and even up your regular content game outside of your story. Pretty interesting. By the way, all the things that we talk about here today come straight from my program, the IG Black Fox. The roadmap, if you will, for growing a successful brand on Instagram with over 100 core lessons, talking about audience development, growth strategies, the algorithm quite a bit. We also have a bunch of bonus courses in there and access to me personally in our mentorship community and a lot more, but we still yeah. have a few spots available, but they are closing in pretty fast. So by the time you watch this, we might be close already. Link is down in the description. Now, looking at all the data that I got, there's more or less two and a half steps that you could do to actually really maximize your story game. Number one, the 24 hour rule. A big mistake people make is constantly having stories on their profile because they read it somewhere on the internet or because I said it at some point somehow. <laughs> Always have a story because stories are important for audience development, for selling, for building a relationship and so forth. So they're like, I always have to have a story in there to not lose track of my audience. The problem with this though is uh, the story algorithm. And this goes actually hand in hand with the rumor that having a poll as your first story uh, of the day will boost your reach. Because for the Instagram algorithm, the story algorithm, the first story of the day is the most important one and this single one determines your subsequent reach of all the other stories that are about to follow. Meaning, if people just don't respond the way that they should uh, to the first story, for example, by exiting out of the stories in general or forwarding to the next account, you're gonna lose a ton of traction and it actually really could be a lot. Like I said, it seems like the fluctuation on the story reach recently has been bigger than ever. Now, we're gonna talk about how to optimize for this first story in a second. But, and this is very important, if you don't have a break in your story, Stories, meaning there's absolutely no story of you right there online, this first story stat will actually never reset. And you're sort of in the downward spiral for multiple reasons that would be too complicated to get into. So it's really important to always let your stories expire at the end of the day and have a short break of at least one, two, three hours to reset this you know, mostly internal stat. Now, the smart kids are gonna be like, well, how is it gonna be reset? What if I delete the stories? Will this whole thing be reset as well? And guess what? Yeah, it seems like this works as well. If you see, for example, your first story of the day isn't really responding that well, uh, or even later ones, just delete the story, wait a bunch of hours, and you're gonna see the stats gonna be reset because there's less bad data actually coming in uh, to your stories. So the algorithm won't sort of penalize you that much. Penalize, penalize weird word. And here's where it gets actually really, really interesting because you can actually figure this whole thing out right inside your Instagram app. Now, I'm sure you've heard about the term defining your key story, right? No, obviously no. If you said yes, you're a liar because I've never talked about it publicly and I sort of invented this term. But basically this is where this poll in the beginning hack comes into play yet again. Because while for lots of people, polls work really well in terms of engagement and you know, all the metrics, it's not necessarily true for everybody, especially with this rapidly changing algorithm that closely monitors how your audience reacts to whatever content that you put out. And I personally believe everybody has multiple story formats their audience just likes a little bit more or a lot more. And it's definitely changing from time to time as well. So keep that in mind. So here comes the beautiful thing about this. Instagram tells you almost all of their stats that they have from your stories in the insights. <laughs> and it's always been there. You just never look. So if you go in there in your story stats, the first thing you can see is that you can have up to two years worth of data for your stories, which is a lot more than generally. Remember, you can just have 90 days for your regular posts, but stories, there's the full two years worth of data in there. And you can basically sort by every metric that they have available. Naturally, first thing you're gonna have to do is finding out your key story, basically the story that generally performs better. And you're gonna spot a pattern really quickly, ideally. So first of all, take a look at the reach. And like I said, you're gonna gonna find some patterns, I'm pretty sure. And then it's your 
turn to try to replicate that or analyze why that has been the case. Usually it's pretty easy to spot. Usually it is a poll, for example, or a certain format that you do uh, or certain things that you say. Just try to go deep and that alone could be a very good starting point, uh, just sorting by reach, but you could go a lot deeper as well. For example, tracking the back clicks, which is basically when somebody clicks back, the story before it was uh, very interesting for them, it seems like. And if you have a lot more back uh, clicks than usual, it's basically a huge indication of uh, your content view time being high because people go back and watch the you know, story before again, which is a huge indicator that your audience is actually interested in whatever came before or here because the image is flipped. But also take a look at bad performing ones and try to figure out why that was, you know? If more people exited out or forwarded to the next story, you might want to take a look at why that might have been the case. And you're like, again, you're going to see a pattern. Usually, you're gonna spot pretty easily that this is something that your audience is not really into. So it could be the way you present it, or it could be in general that whatever that is, your audience is just not interested. But you're gonna have to test and see how, you know, changing things up, switching things up, and trying to see whether you can sort of turn this thing around. And like I said, the, the very interesting thing about that is it's up to two years worth of data, and it can tell you so much about your audience in general. You know, what they're into, what they respond to, what they don't respond to. And uh, just take a look at that might give you some very important clues for your regular content there to you know, up your game and to just give that like we always say just have to 5% better content than uh, you, you had before. So yeah, just doing a bit of research and trying to figure out the psychology behind this whole thing will give you audience insights, valuable insights to make your audience a lot more engaged. Now once you have those insights, you can then take them and put them into our other three step formula we've talked about in this video right here to get your content viral, boost your reach. So make sure to watch the video right now.